swear I was in neutral. I'll fill my tank up real quick, but uh, I guess um, I've actually met some interesting people so far. I've, one of my coworkers likes. <laughs> I can't see because of the camera. One of my coworkers, she's a white girl, um, and I'm not sure. I think she'll date anybody, but she prefers black guys who are uh, not um, ghetto and crazy. Um, and so I don't. I kind of understand it, but I want to see her. I want to. I'm going to interview her and get her perspective on what that means exactly and my friend explained it to me he's like he doesn't like it when some women are like i don't know urban and so he's gonna uh let's see that's about as full as i wanted to get because sometimes i don't think it fills up all the way i got some gas on my tank three gallons huh Let's check this. This is how you check your mileage, by the way. Some of you don't know anything about cars or anything like that. Phone. Uh, calculator. That's it. 90. Oh, 98 points. 98.7 divided by. 3.3.7 31 miles a gallon that's actually pretty bad uh, city riding recently so the gas mileage sucks I actually got it up to 38 when I was on the highway when I went to I went, took a trip up to Philly which I'm kind of mad that I didn't vlog there at all because I went to uh, Philly and uh, went to go visit Shorty Rise, my friend and uh, YouTuber. She's the only featured one on my page. But uh, um, I went up there and the city was cool, man. Um, I didn't like going to the nice parts. I went to the hood and stuff. Um, so. Uh, that was lots of fun, and uh, I'm kind of mad that I didn't get very many pictures of uh, of the good like stuff in the city, like all the art and stuff. Definitely mad. Hobo alert! I'm definitely mad I didn't get any of that. Grr. And I wish I did, cause that was that was some good good art up there. And the city was, it was a cool city. I tried to get a real cheesesteak, but I got one from a corner store. Someone told me it sucked. <laughs> so it was a real Philly cheesesteak. So next time I go back, um, I'm going to go and get uh, a for real Philly cheesesteak. And um, back to what I was saying. So I'm going to, so, yeah, my co, I'm going to ask her what, what that means. Um... What, what it means, like, what's the difference between the ghetto cultured, hip hop cultured black people and, uh, or even if there is a difference at all. I'm gonna look into that because, uh, some people get mad, they're like, black people, blah, 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 or I don't know. But, uh, Scooby? sucker um what am I saying oh yeah so I'm gonna go look into the differences between uh like what is this new emergence of um new emergence I don't even know what I'm talking about like this between okay I'm gonna label it like this okay
Okay, I can't really label it like that because people are going to get PO'd. I'm just going to label it what my other friend who is black and half white will label it. He labels it as white cultured slash black cultured. And that is a general statement, yes I know. But it's words from another person and that's what I'm going to use as I find out more about what these people are talking about. And what he means by that is, uh, black culture, definition-wise, for him, means, uh, as in, ghetto, loud, into black stuff, yeah, like, uh, rap videos and all that stuff, and just, like, general stereotypes, which not all black people are like that. Um, need I say again, this is, uh... All the stuff that's going to come from this documentary slash interviews is going to be uh, real life stuff that people actually think. It's not, it's a, it's a public service announcement, it's not, okay, you're staring, you know, typing people. This is actual people's questions that I've been given to ask and what people have actually said about themselves and all that stuff. And I've compiled it. And so that's what it is. And so, there's a fun, I'm not generalizing, okay, there, okay, what I think is, certain, some, I think every stereotype has some sort of ring of truth to it, some sort of ring of truth, whether it be good or bad, and some people just have to live with the fact that, you know, their, their people are known for certain things, it's kind of like, if you go to uh, a deserted island and there's aborigines there or something, this, I guess some stereotype would be uh, blah blah blah, they're cannibals or something. And so you would think any normal person would go there and be cautious and be like, man, I gotta make sure they don't eat me. You know? You're, it's your natural reaction. Is that? And then if you're doing that, if you say you don't, then you're either stupid or just plain silly. So would that be considered a stereotype? Let's say they do eat people. Um, would you be right to be scared of that? It would only make sense, right? Like you would um, not know something, but you hear things. And so it's just natural to be like, to have first thought because you know, self-preservation comes in. But anyway, so what does that have to do with what I'm talking about? What I mean to say is that, uh, like, I think some people say the justice system is flawed and stuff. And yeah, it's kind of messed up, but the justice system works on statistics, I think. Like, statistically, if there's more, a certain amount of people with a different uh, background creed, whatever, who are landing up more in jail, then it would only make sense that when they see somebody, logically, it would make sense um, to just assume that every person of that race has, they have something tricky up their mind or something. And so this is how the world thinks. I'm not saying I think this way. I'm just saying, like, that if you think about it logically, that's how it works. And that's why people get stereotyped that black people are going to steal crap or something. And is there, statistically, the numbers are there. That there's more black guys in jail than all that stuff. And so, statistically, they're more likely to get your stuff stolen. And so, why I'm bringing that up is because that's a question and one of my friends made a topic about on Facebook. And I thought about it. And that's what I came up with. Is is it wrong though? Yeah, I think it is because you know every every person should be judged based off their based off uh, based off their individual thing. Like you should be based off who you are as a person, not as your skin color. And say if you're black and you fit in some of the stereotypes, and that's fine because. You know, that would be that would make up part of you who, as a person. And just like if I'm Asian and I, I'm good at math, or uh, I suck. Another stereotype about Asian 